Jesus' defense? And every time it's excited, it 
uh, decays and emits a photon, which we collect on a photomultiplier tube. And so the statistics that we get for that, um, if, you, if we collect for 200 microseconds, this is a histogram of the number of counts we get on our photomultiplier tube. And so you can see that if we put a sort of a discriminator right here and said that any time we get a click, uh, a number of photon counts above that in 200 microseconds, we say we're in the bright state, then we've, we've sufficiently sort of measured our qubit. Alternatively, if we're in this dark state qubit, um, in, the, in this dark state level, when we apply that same laser beam, we're now 14.5 gigahertz minus this 600 megahertz splitting off resonance. And so we don't excite any, any energy transitions or any transitions. And so the ion remains dark. And you can see that in this histogram, where, which consists mostly of zero counts collected in 200 microseconds, uh, but also maybe a few background counts or a few counts due to off-present excitation. Then you look at the back uh, to do out of curiosity, uh, look at the I didn't do any of the Q value statistics for that, but um, yeah. So when, when we when we look at this and we apply that discriminator at the uh, two photon count level, we can discriminate between those two um, greater than 99 percent of the time. Is that ever not a um, So if you first get going, it. Um, if you run through the equations and solve the Matthew equations for exposure. 